Well, I thought I'd share a little bit about my uh, first shooting board. Um, I built this to use with my low-angle jack plane so that I could do um, wide miters. Um, I'm going to be uh, taking this stock and wrapping it around the table. Uh, so it's four inches wide, so it's a little bit uh, too wide to do with the traditional uh, style uh, miter where you'd be miter um, shooting board where you'd be setting it like uh, vertical and shooting across this direction. Instead, I'll be laying it flat and shooting this direction with this um, uh, um, shooting board. I um, thought I would just kind of show you uh, how it works. There's a groove in this piece of maple here and an upper support and the plane rides in that groove um, just like that and you can slide the plane back and forth um, to uh, uh, very precisely trim up and, and um, get a, a very flat miter surface for a board that comes through in this direction. So I thought I would just then cover a couple of the features. Um, I've seen this um, kind of design uh, in pictures online before but I thought I would kind of make a few improvements. Um, the first thing is uh, this is a uh, just a piece of scrap plywood that that we had laying around in the shop. That's the base and you can see it's been used but I chose the flattest piece that I could find and then put it through the um, drum sander uh, to get it absolutely dead flat and you can tell that when something is nice and good and flat that there's a little bit of a vacuum that's formed when you have it referenced against a flat surface like there is with this. Um, so then uh, essentially I made up some glue ups two <coughs> identical side pieces <coughs> out of some three-quarter inch maple stock um, to form the sides and mitered the face. Obviously uh, the blade that I used in the table saw needs to be sharpened because it burned it up pretty good but it's only a jig so it doesn't really matter and again on that side. So then um, what I did was um, is that going to stay? What I did was uh, use a V-bit on a router table and um, milled this groove and then uh, used a rabbiting bit to take out the, the side here uh, flat and even uh, so that I could glue these in and have it referenced against a square edge. I should, I should say that first we very carefully squared the, um, uh, the board so that uh, uh, these sides are perfectly square to this uh, notch. That's the important thing. Um, then, to add some rigidity and stability, we went and got some of this aluminum angle, and we made a rabbit in the uh, on the back and uh, ripped down the aluminum on the table saw so that it wouldn't protrude up through here. That gives it some dimensional stability. Uh, when it, uh, keep it from, from warping. And then we did the same thing, a rabbit in the front. And in this case, we put the aluminum angle down. And the idea is when I have my vise set up, I can set it on the edge like this and then um, fit my board through and it'll keep the thing from moving and I can just go ahead and shoot. Um, and we had a little bit of angle left over and we just decided to put... Um, it across the top here so that um, it would give more rigidity to this top rail. Um, then we put a dado in the top here and uh, cut these little blocks. Um, I think these are uh, 1032 uh, size screws and um, we just drilled, we measured the the inside thread diameter, the inner diameter, which was like, uh, I think it was 0.129 or something like that. 
<coughs> and then we drilled a hole through the maple and then just swaged the um, the threads into the block of um, maple there and that works really well uh, it, it you know we're not putting a lot of force it's just a kind of a micro adjustment to help set this fence um, exactly where you want it so you can move this back and adjust uh, for angle um, as well you know you can on the planes you can move the uh, lever cap um, assembly back and forth um, to adjust the angle of the blade but this just gives you a little bit more freedom to um, match poor um, poorly mitered edges which I think I have pretty good edges here but um, not, not every project will do that and I just noticed that I have a uh, split coming out here that's okay. great um, the uh, the other thing that I'm probably going to do is put a couple of um, holes and swage some screws that come out here and up here and make a sacrificial fence. Um, that way I can adjust the angle this way to make it more of kind of a compound um, miter adjustment. Um, again, just to help fine tune those, those angles. Um, I'll probably do the same thing on this side so that you can shoot in either direction. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So kind of a neat little project that we were able to get done in about a uh, day and a half um, when I went to visit my folks. So uh, fun project. So anyway, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.